Hi, my name is Christoph, and welcome to the Quixotry Workshop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but very effective uh, mouse and rat trap. So here where we stay, we have um, a lot of uh, nature around us and inevitably, it's, sometimes it happens that uh, mice and rats uh, enter our living space. Um, and especially, uh, we have a problem in our attic, in the house and on the ceiling. And at night, uh, I hear a rat running around and it wakes me up at night so uh, I've put some poison out uh, before and it sort of only solved the problem temporarily uh, but every time I put it out I feel bad because when so I don't want to use poison rats and mice eat the poison they also poison uh, other animals secondary um, like owls and uh, eagles <clears throat> and other predators um, when they die and, and, and they get eaten. Um, I would rather use a catch and release system where I can just uh, catch them and then release them somewhere else or dispose of them in a proper way. What you'll need if you want to do and replicate what I'm going to do is you need a, a empty paint bucket or or any any big plastic uh, bucket that's got a lid this one this lid uh, clips on very securely so that's nice and it's big it's a 25 liter paint bucket that's been emptied and cleaned um, you'll also need uh, pieces of scrap plywood I've got here several pieces um, depending on what you have or maybe you can go to your local hardware store and ask them to cut you a couple of pieces I'll give the dimensions in the description and then you'll need a couple of screws a piece of uh, straight uh, wire and you need one of these uh, coffee empty coffee tins or something similar um, and then tool wise uh, you, you'll need a, a sharp ni knife uh, a marker some pliers some uh, drill bits, um, cordless drill, and uh, if if you have um, a saw, uh, like a, a hand saw, you can use a hand saw, or you can use a jigsaw, electrical jigsaw. Uh, I don't want to make this too complicated. I want to stay, uh, make, keep it very simple. So it's easy to replicate and let's start building this and I hope you enjoy the video. So the basic idea is to create a trapdoor at the top that will um, be like a um, counter lever mechanism and some enclosure that I'll, I'll make from this tin and a ramp to enable the, the rat or the mice to come up and then uh, we'll put some bait inside here at the top so uh, like peanut butter something sticky that can stay there and then the idea is along comes our rat and it sniffs the, the bait and comes on 
top of the ramp, checks it out, and rats and mice are very clever and they're very suspicious. So, um, but if they find this is like a, they've seen a bucket and, a, and they've seen tins and, and stuff lying around. So they investigate and they see, oh, there's something nice in there. And then they go in and then they fall through the trapdoor and into the bucket. And this trap can catch more than one at, uh, in one night. So the very first thing I want to do is I'm measuring this is 26 centimeter from there to there so the center I can actually see where the center is um, and this comes to there so let me just mark this is where the, the tin will end and my trap door let's say the tin is from there to there and my trap door i would like to have all the way from here to run about there stop it there so this will be the length of of the trap door and <clears throat> the pivot point will be more or less just just on this side of the where the tin tin ends and I'm gonna make it in a shape like like this like a like an elongated egg shape actually it will end like that so to make it symmetrical i'm going to take that measurement it's about 200 millimeters and by 90 in the middle and that shape so on paper if i draw this on this paper then I can, I can draw it like this the center line I take 200 it's the length and then the pivot point is 90 or 80 80 from the bottom And it will be 90 wide here, so it's 45 on each side. And then I'm just going to draw half of it. So I want it to be big enough for a big rat. Yeah, so I'm just going to ink that that shape in. Oh wait, I'm going to fold it on that line. And there I have the shape. So the reason I do it like this is so that if my pivot point's there, um, it should be longer on this side but heavier on this side, so that it has a tipping point. So it's more or less balanced but a little bit more heavy there, yeah, and a tipping point round about there. That will be the point where the the rat can't return. So I'm gonna cut out this. Okay. 
and then go back to my, my paint tin, put it on there, and then copy this. So there we have the, and I'm going to cut out this with the, with the blade. So it's quite thick plastic, so you have to go a couple of times. Don't don't try and cut it the first time. Just follow your your groove a couple of times until it's through. There we go. That's the trap door. So I'm going to sand this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it forward slightly so that it catches there and it's free on this side. And like new mark there and there. So I'm gonna connect This, uh, by the way, is a welding rod that I just removed the flux from. Cut this to size. So I've drilled a hole that side and this side. And the lid will still close because that's the groove where it closes in. And then here. So basically that is the idea. I just need to, to get this to to be more run freely and I might have to add a counterweight at the back here to keep it up. Yeah. Now it's like that. So we just need to put some weight at the back. Let's see if this nut on the placement. We put this nut there. Now for the tin, I'm going to cut it in half.
that way I can use the second half if I want to make an, another one. Okay, so that uh, trick there, I just scored it with the blade and bend it a couple of times and it split right in the middle. So you can remove this and then we'll beat this a little bit. I'm bending that back a little bit. So this is what it looks like from the mouse or the rat's perspective. So it's, it's very important that nothing gets stuck, that everything works smoothly. That's not supposed to happen. Here's a Medell stick. I need to to stop it there at that point. So I'm just going to add something at the top there. So when it tips, it will automatically reset it. What I also can do is something across here to prevent this from going past. I think that is a simpler solution. I'm just going to put that there so that that will stop it. That can't go past, can't get stuck now. It's like this, and it. So you can add some tracks for the mouse by using a glue gun and just putting some, some beads over like this. It will give some traction. And then all we need to do is to attach this to the top of this, this lip here. And I'm just gonna put one screw through here. I can feel there's a, there's a lip. So once again, I'm just going to draw a small hole just to make sure I'm in the right place. And also through here. I 
and uh, there we have it our paint bucket mousetrap so this flips on like that and resets itself I really hope you enjoyed the video um, and I'll keep you updated how it goes with the trap in a week's time and just a note uh, if you're not comfortable cutting uh, this because it's it's quite sharp the edges always wear gloves when you do that or you can use a plastic container like this this is from a yogurt it's much easier to work with it will be the same same result it's just plastic and then, um, if you do this uh, with this one you can squish it a little bit to give it more height and also squash it at the back here and trim it so that it's so it's, it's flat like that you just trim trim it until it's nice and sturdy flat on the on on, on a flat surface and uh, I didn't use all the wood that I anticipated and I also didn't use all the screws as one screw here um, and I also didn't need uh, to use the jigsaw uh, however if you if your wood is not cut then you'll have to cut it yourself so have a great week and I'll see you next week